Okay, so getting into the probably one of the most anticipated fights of this card, I think yeah. we can all agree. Uh, Jordan Levitt taking on Patty the Batty in the uh, Patty's a minus 255 and Jordan Levitt is a plus 215 underdog. This fight is really interesting because Patty, man, he's really good. He, he's fought two times in the UFC. His first fight was a knockout in the first round. Second fight was a submission and also in the first round. So if I have to give a pick and a prediction, I'm going to say it right now, I think the fight is definitely not going to decision. As far as who's going to win, this one's tough because I'm going to contradict myself right now. If Jordan wins, it, it is going to be by unanimous decision or split decision. Patty wins over first round, second round. Um, Patty's very aggressive, always throws himself in the fire, um, has really nice submission and grappling. Um, people actually overlook that. They think that he's actually known for his striking. He's actually known for his, uh, for his grappling. Um, very good. And that's what scares me about this fight because Jordan is known for his wrestling. Yeah. And all three of us, we wrestled back in high school, and we know that when someone takes you down, the correct thing to do is throw your legs back, with the wrist and sprawl. I feel like people when they do jujitsu, majority they don't do any of that. They they, just, they they throw their hand over the guy's head. They get taken wow. down. They, they they try to go for a submission, and I just don't like that. Especially with someone as good as Jordan when it comes to the wrestling. If you if you don't sprawl on him and you go and try to submit him and go to guard, it's not going to work out good for you. Jordan's going to get on top of you and he's going to be on top of you for the rest of the round. So. The way I see this fight is keep it on the feet. Patty, knock that boy out, and let's go Patty the Batty. This fight's tough for me, too, because, I mean, like, we all know Jordan, right? Like, we he went to high school right around the corner from us, and he's one of those kids that you look at and you're like, oh, this fucking dork. Like, he's an easy win. But, like, he's that funky kid that's not an easy win. Like, he's going to embarrass you because you're going to go in there all confident and you're going to lose to, like, some kid who has, like, who just doesn't look the part, right? What's crazy about this fight for me is I like what you said, Rob. Patty isn't really a striker. He's a ground guy, right? But yep. since he's been in the UFC, we've known him as a brawler. Like, he's just willing to go into those exchanges and just knock someone out. And I think that's what he needs to do in this fight because Jordan isn't really a brawler. I think he needs to go in there and just throw hands and let them go because he'll catch Jordan if he does that. Now, if Patty tries to play to his strengths and, like, wrestle him and go to the ground – Jordan's funky, man. I think Jordan's way too funky for him. I don't think, I don't think Patty would submit Jordan. I think Jordan might even get the edges on a couple of scrambles and he might get the position in. I don't think Jordan has what it takes to knock Patty out, but I think Jordan has what it takes to, you know, edge him out in an in in a, in a ultimate like three round fight. Um, with that being said, though, with the fight being at the O2 arena, with Patty having the clear striking advantage and also knowing how to wrestle a little bit, knowing how to, you know, utilize the ground game. I'm going to say Patty's going to win this based off – I don't think Jordan's going to play to the game plan he needs to play to. I, I think Jordan's going to be willing to stand in there with him, and I think that's ultimately going to be the biggest mistake he's going to make. Um, I'm going to go with Patty on this one, and I think Patty will finish him in, like, the second round by knockout because of the brawling aspect. I don't think Jordan's ready for all that. But don't be surprised if there's an upset on this one because I'm telling you off, I'm telling you right now, Jordan is not a scrub. Like, he's funky, and he knows a couple things, and and – as long as Jordan's smart and just doesn't stand up with him, he tries to grapple a lot, make a lot of like, make the fight boring and ugly. Jordan has a chance on this one. Let me. I'm, I'm gonna go with Patty something. though. Okay, I think I think Jordan kind of reminds me a little bit of like Jake Paul. Jake Paul keeps trying to tell everyone, the entire world, I'm like I'm not a boxer, like I'm a YouTuber, I'm a nerd. But like we, like the real people know, like bro, stop saying that. You're you're a boxer now. Like stop trying to hide your hand. Yeah. Same thing with Jordan. Like crutch. Yeah. Jordan is like. He, he, he does the twerking, he does the splits. So when you look at him, you're like, bro, ain't no way. There's no way, there's no way. Yeah. But then- It's a defense mechanism. Too. Yeah, it's, like there, there really is. It, it really is. It, it puts doubt in your mind, but you have to forget about all that funky stuff and just look at their performance. And when you look at Jordan's performance, he's a good wrestler, man. He really is, man. Like, and look at his last three fights in the UFC. He hasn't been knocked out or submitted. His only loss was to Claudio, who's also a very good grappler, very good fighter himself, and that was by unanimous decision. So, yeah, man, this is a yeah. very good fight, and this fight right here, I feel like will really uh, propel Patty if he does get the win. Yeah, absolutely, and especially Jordan. If, you know, if oh, yeah, that, that too. And the thing about Patty is that in the past, we've seen him uh, in the last couple of fights, 
We've seen him get in these uh, striking exchanges. And then what I noticed was he'll get tagged or something will happen and he'll take to the ground and kind of like win by submission, grab the dude's neck or, or do something like that. So it really comes down to the feet for me because if he, if, yeah, if he can uh, impose his will as he should against Jordan on the feet, he should be okay. But if he, if Jordan is being funky, because I agree with you, Rod, I, 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 you know, I was telling you, Rod, Jordan is funky, man. These, those funky guys are hard to go against. You never know somehow if he just finds a way to win or at least not get knocked out or at least not not let you win fully, you know? So it's like yeah. it, it, it's a really awesome matchup in that sense. But um, if that happens with Patty, if they're, if they're having a striking little battle, maybe for some reason Jordan shows up that day and maybe gives him hell on the feet, Patty goes to the ground, it's going to be another competitive bout on the ground. It is, so absolutely. Jordan is so – I think the smart thing, of course, based on performances, based on momentum, he just got huge. Patty's got huge momentum. I mean, so does Jordan, kind of. But um, based on all that stuff, of course, Patty is the right decision. But on the channel, we already have two guys that went for Patty, so you guys can listen to them. Me, what I'm gonna say, I'm going to say, screw it, man. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for Jordan. I'm gonna go for Jordan, man. I say, I say, he pulls it off. Maybe he can catch Patty's neck, or maybe he can catch him, or. He will. Richard, what, you what said about, something. What about tire him out? Like we haven't seen Patty go decision. You're we right. haven't That's seen the other thing. cardio. You're yeah, right. and, he, and Jordan's a wrestler. Yeah, he's like great cardio. Jordan has amazing cardio. He has like nine out of ten cardio. The you know toughness what I'm saying? might be able to win. That's what I'm saying. I think if, if Patty comes in with, because Patty always puts himself in the fire. He always comes with some crazy energy. Are you able to keep that energy going for 15 minutes? Because we've seen him do it for five. You know, less than five, because all his last two fights in the UFC were in the first round, yeah. right? Correct me if I'm wrong. So um, if we never seen you in the second round, we never seen you in the third, that's a really big question mark. And um, man, it's a good fight. I don't blame you for picking Jordan, but me and Rodrigo was sticking to Patty yeah. the Batty, baby. Yeah. You did say something that stuck out to me, though, Rich. You said he's like funky, which is true, because like, when you think about it, like, it's like you said too, Rob, like you alluded to this, like as a wrestler, like when someone goes to take you down, you throw your legs back, right? Wizard wrist immediately. You, you know that that's like a number one defense, but Jordan's the type of kid, even in wrestling, he wouldn't do that. He'd probably let you have his leg and then go for like a, like a, he's going to go for a scramble position where he wants to get you in a funky, like situation that you may not be used to. Yeah. He'll, I feel like a lot of those situations are going to happen in this fight. I feel like a lot of that's definitely going to happen. I could, I and then you said something else, Rob, that really stood out to me. We never really seen Patty in a second round UFC event at the O2 Arena when he's like going all out after that first round. How is he going to act in that situation? Like, damn, this is going to be. I, yeah, that's this fight should be the co main event. Huh? Yeah, this should. Yeah, this should be. This should if be the Jordan wins first round. Like, if he makes out of the first round, then he has actually a pretty good chance of. Yeah, it, it is because he he's if he can mix it up the first round, he's done something that no one else in the UFC has done already. compared to already, yeah. yeah, so it's already a good stamp for you. Now the thing is, how's Patty's cardio? Because if your cardio is bad, I mean with the weight cut, with the weight cut this guy with the weight cut that's a yeah, you can't imagine it's like the best. I mean you can't yeah. imagine he has that full like but he's a free and, and you know what's funny so, about that weight cut? Everyone is coming out, every fighter now is coming out saying like Hey man, I'm, I'm learning how to eat right. I'm learning how to take care of my body. I'm learning how to do these things to make me a better fighter, to make me better in shape. I feel like George, um, Patty's kind of like taking youth uh, for a ride in a sense. Yeah, like he's yeah, just yeah. taking advantage yeah, of his youth, and yeah. which is cool. We should do that when, uh, when we have the chance. But at the same time, if you want to be the champion or you want to be the best of the best, and you see these old heads or these you know these fighters saying like, hey. Um, we have meal plans now. We have nutritionists taking care of it. And you're over here as soon as you, you know, just eating pizza and not taking your diet seriously and then come off, lose 20 plus pounds. How heavy is he, Rodrigo? Like, what is he? Like, uh, he's a big kid, though. He fights at what? What is it, 55? 155. But I, I think this one. He probably gets up to like 90, like, bro. Yeah, yeah, I think he's like 90, like, like 90, bro. Yeah. So for you to lose that quick, too, because this, like, to lose that quick. Man, this cardio is going to be tested. It's going to. It's a really good fight. And to uh, to point out what you said, Rodrigo, about this fight not being a co-main event, it's because Darren Till was supposed to be the co-main. Now that he's not, I think they should actually move this to the co-main event and have Jack. They should press a little bit. Yeah. Well.